In less than 50 lines of Python code, I'm going to show you how you can generate notebook LM style podcast programmatically. The main catch here is that you can use an API to generate the same. See, everybody loves Google's notebook LM. It's this interface where you can go upload your PDF, a resume or any kind of PDF, a paper or something. And then it would generate a very interesting discussion between two hosts and it will generate it and give it to you. People are using it for homeworks. People are using it to listen to something that they don't understand during their morning walk. So this is a successful product. But the problem is you cannot generate something programmatically. There is no APA at this point from Google for you to generate this programmatically. Like imagine like you are a college student, a university student. You want to come in the weekend and upload all your PDF and then just generate all these things sequentially. This batch generation is not possible with Google at this point. So I'm going to teach you how you can do this using a service called play.ai and I'm going to show you the entire code like this code is basically I think like 50 lines of Python code I guess probably I'm going to share the Google Collab notebook with which I've built this so you can also do the same thing exactly. First of all you need to generate your API keys so I've already generated my API keys from play.ai and then I've added it to my Google Collab secrets. That's the only thing that you have to do other than adding your own PDF. So make sure you get the uh, key and the user ID and then add it to your Google Collab Secrets. If you're running this on local computer, then you can use uh, something like import.os, os.enron and then you can just give whatever that name that you want and you can add the key that you want. So if you're running this on local, you can do this thing. But if you're running this on Google Collab, you can just exactly do whatever I'm doing right now. After this is done, I've linked the documentation for you to go play with this. But if you're using this notebook, you don't need documentation. So we need two libraries, primarily request and OS. Um, this is if you're trying to read the keys locally, but because I'm on Google Collab, I'm going to use this. Next, you have to define the PDF from which you want to generate a podcast. The demo I'm going to show you is from the Amazon shareholder letter that uh, Jeff Bezos wrote in 2007, but the demo that is what I'm going to use to generate, but I've already created something and uh, which is, I think, based on um, the seven powers Hamilton Helmer, like it's a book. And then I'm going to play the audio for that. Now, after you have defined what is the source file, next you have to go and then hit this API. The API that you have to hit is uh, this api.play.ai slash API slash v1 play notes. And now you set the keys and after that you are going to basically set up the header for the API request. Once that is done, the main juice is here. So you have to specify the source file URL, which is what the PDF here is. And then you have to say what kind of a synthesis style you want. We are doing podcast because that is a popular format, but this API endpoint supports like children's stories executive summary and a bunch of other things. You can literally go to the endpoint here and then check what other sub, um, types of audio that you can generate. Some are like single host, some are multiple host. In our case, this is a two host system. That means we need two voices. We're going to take two voices, voice one, uh, we're going to call the voice Angelo and then voice two, we're going to call the voice a DD. You can give any name that you want. For example, if you want to uh, create like a podcast for your company, you can like imagine you have got like the CMO and CTO. So you can have the CMO name and the CTO name. So it's up to what you want to do. And I think once you have the voices ready, then all you have to do is you have to send a post request with the given headers and files. And then you have to check if the response is 201. If the response is 201, then your request is successful. If not, then you're going to get an error message with whatever the error message is. But once the response is successful, you're going to get an ID. So if I go particularly run this. I hope I don't get an error because okay, I did not um, run this. That's my bad. So I'm going to run this first and then I'm going to run this. And the moment I run this, you can see that the request has been sent successfully and there is a play note ID generated for whatever that I wanted to create. It might take a few minutes. So instead of keeping you waited, what I've done is I've already created a play note, which is stored inside this play note and I'm going to play that for you. So the way I'm going to play that is you have the play note ID. So let's run this after you have the play note ID. So you have to go hit this endpoint with the play note ID and that will ultimately give you the status. For example, if I were to go use it, let me stop this for a moment. Let's say this is what I'm uh, generating. Okay. 
so if this is my play note id play note id then if i run this it would most likely say that this is currently yeah you please wait while your play note is being generated try again later because this is still going on it takes a couple of minutes for it to generate but in my case i've already generated this so that if i use this as a play note id and then i hit this endpoint to poll if it has been successful or not if it is successful i also get the final audio clip so in this case i've got the audio clip so then all i have to do is download the audio clip which i'm using like the linux command w get and i'm storing this here in my local computer or within my google collab environment and after i do this thing all i'm going to do is i'm going to use the jupyter notebook or ipython widget just to play the audio so i can go here and then play the audio i'm going to play the audio for you to listen Hey everyone, welcome back to Power Play Navigating Business Strategy. I'm Didi, your co-host for today. And I'm Angelo. So glad you're all tuning in. Didi, I've been itching to talk about today's topic. Oh, me too. We're diving into Hamilton Helmer's Seven Powers, The Foundations of Business Strategy. Uh-huh. That book really shook up my understanding of competitive adventure and customer relationships. That's a fair point. But Helmer doesn't ignore those elements. He incorporates them with... As you can see here, we have got two hosts, very successful hosts, uh, DD and Angelo, discussing the book that we have got here, which is um, which is the Seven Powers from Hamilton Helmer, and they're like literally discussing the book, which is exactly what you want, whether it is your homework, whether it is a resume, whether it is an internal document, whether it is like a business executive summary, whatever you want, you can generate it like a podcast, just like Notebook LM using this endpoint uh, i guess they give a, a particular set of free credits for you to get started so you can go here and get started with this but the main idea here is that can you generate notebook lm style podcast programmatically imagine you've got 100 pdfs you want to send it as a batch and then generate it yes it is possible you don't have to deal with the headache of llms you don't have to uh, deal with how do you take this text of pdf and then convert into text you don't have to deal with any of this. All you have to do is have one PDF link. Give that PDF link URL anywhere that you find on internet. Give that to this endpoint in this particular parameter source file URL that actually goes inside your um, this this request parameters. And all you can do is generate the ultimate final uh, podcast style or notebook LM style podcast in an MP3. So you can run your own radio station within your university or within your company. And uh, the potential is quite enormous. I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of internet is going to be flooded with this content. But for now, if you're a Python programmer and you wanted a way to generate notebook LM style podcast using an API, this is the code for you. Link the code in the YouTube description. Please let me know what you feel about this kind of solution. See you in another video. Happy prompting.